In his eyes and his posture. He is very motivated. With a lawnmower almost as big as he is. 12-year-old Reginald Field is on his toes doing business. Just, I'm having fun at the same time cutting. His new business, Mr. Reggie's Lawn Cutting Service. I like just being out the house. And with several helping hands in his cousins, brothers, and sisters, this group is up with the sun every day working the neighborhood. And it's been smooth cutting this summer until an incident a couple days ago. A new crew pulling up at Miss Lucille's house where they were working for the first time, Maple Heights Police. They say I was cutting the grass, but I didn't know it. Lucille told me she quickly learned the neighbors called to complain. They said that um, the kids cut their grass. Claiming the group cut a section of their property and were in their yard. Yes, called police on children cutting grass. Reggie said he was discouraged for a minute. I was like, I was like, that's not, that's a shame because I'm, I didn't know. But no longer than that, because the post Lucille put on Facebook about what happened ended up with thousands of views, Praise hundreds God. of shares. God I guess good. I have like a line where part of it is not my yard. They called the police to tell the police that the kids was cutting their grass. Good afternoon, folks. This is O2 Speaker coming to you after a while. There's a lot going on. And what I would like to say is just, just giving people, you, you, you know, there's more racist attacks now than ever since 45 and his administration is, is taken over Washington. I, I mean, we have to remind him that this is not a, 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 a land of kings, but you have to be here. But anyway, let, we'll get to that later. This is about separating parents from children at the borders, at that border. And, and more and more cops are being called on black people, even children, little young entrepreneurs, for just making money out there, not getting in any trouble, not selling drugs, not with their pants under their behind. I'm going to give you something. Neighbors call the cops on 12 year old boy mowing the grass. Lucille Holt Colden is just praising this young 12 year old whose name is Reginald Field and his friends as they mow the front lawn of her Ohio home. Reginald who is known as Reggie and owns Mr. Reggie's lawn cutting service can be seen pushing a lawnmower while another boy rakes and two girls his sister and cousin also open up the garbage bags to put the leaves in as they clean up the yard and cut the grass. And Miss Poland said all young people ain't out there doing wrong. And in a half an hour later, Miss Colden was not so pleased. She said in another video, it's called, which is called This is Ridiculous. I'm just giving you a little bit of background. A police vehicle can be seen in the background after a neighbor called to complain. This is the next door neighbors who are, who are white. To complain that Reggie had cut the grass on his side of the property about a foot. You know, he, he didn't know. If they would have been four white children, the police would not have been called. Miss Holt Colden said, she said, I really like Reggie. Who did, you know, young black, uh, young fellow. And he said, all these attacks are just racially motivated, which it is. I mean, since, man, since uh, a 45 tenth office, I mean, people of color and blacks are we're being attacked all over this country. And it's just, I mean, nobody's standing up for our rights or anything. And she said, um, the episode in Maple Heights outside Cleveland was the latest example of the police being called on black people engaging in innocent behavior, barbecue. One little eight-year-old child, Pyramid Patty, this clown, this idiot, this buffoon, called the cops on a young eight-year-old black girl entrepreneur selling water outside her apartment. You know, and, and, and she's hiding with a what a buffoon! How disgusting! How despicable and despisable! How racist! I, I mean, not bothering you, not standing around with pants under their behind and. And, 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 and selling drugs. See, a lot of that comes from that's all you. See. That's a lot of what you see in some of these communities. 
since you didn't make these communities, this was started by these policies, a policy called redlining. But we'll get into that later. But these little young entrepreneurs, so, so, Miss Colin said she had spotted Reggie and some of his siblings and cousins pushing their equipment outside a store. Impressed that they all had the tools needed for the job, she gave the children her address and told them that her lawn needed to be mowed. They were working for about 30 minutes when the police showed up. You know how horrible. A little young 13 year old fellow, he's a young black fellow, with his family there cutting grass. He's the owner of the little company, he little, with his own little, you know, entrepreneurship. And, and, and the police are called on an innocent young black woman. You see, this could have easily spiraled out of, out of, out of, out of hand because you see, there are black kids being shot down by police too, on on kids, kids. You know, and these so-called intellectually advanced geniuses. Uh, this is all racism. See, the Bible says the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Do you understand? That's why Stephen Hawking, that's why Albert Einstein said, I don't know how you're going to fight World War III, but World War IV, we fought with sticks and stones. That's why Stephen R. Hawkins, the gentleman who just started, who was confined there, that wheelchair, that genius, said man will destroy himself. But for the hand of God, that's in the Bible, there's going to be few men left. That's why a lot of your wars are started. For the Bible says wars and rumors of war, and God's word, word will not fail. See, we need direction in this country. All you have a country that's totally divided by idiocy. All these so-called intellectual giants with their hatred and racism. You see, man has not changed in thousands of years. He's just a stench in God's nostril without the spirit of the God in him. Calling uh, a cop on children. You know how this could have ended up? Since she be, been, began renting the house in October, Miss uh, Colin said her neighbors have called the police on her at least five times, including when her children had a snowball fight and when her son parked his car on the grass in the backyard. Can you imagine this? What is more? It's pure racism. Like the young little white girl, uh, little uh, black girl, eight year old, selling bottled water. This permanent patty that they nicked him. And what a stench. They call a cop on it. And you know how this could have turned out. Now, I mean, I, I, you just don't know. Could you imagine, oh, as a young black child, all you see is cops killing and, and, and terrorizing your neighborhood. And then I'm coming to find out. And you have a cop called on you. But thank God for Mr. Reggie's uh, uh, lawnmower service. What happened? So they posted the video, and thousands of people have donated. To a fund. There's a GoFundMe page, and I'm thinking I'm going to donate something to him too. They donated money for him to get his shed and to get more material and more tools for him to complete his job. And I think that's awesome. God is an awesome and on time God. And somebody's going to pay. And how horrible. So little Reggie said he was so discouraged at first, he thought the cops were going to punish him. How horrible. But now, let's get to the. the, the the part of the video that that's pretty really it's all disturbing how in the world can why would you want to separate children from parents now this is what they've been doing in uh, uh, the african-american or the black community for 400 years ever since they kidnapped their ancestors from Africa you should hear and read the narrative of the slaves how they just will come out of the field working 16, 17 hours a day. See, there was no inherited wealth in the black community because you didn't get the 40 acres in mule. Even that was taken away. So basically the whole 400 years is one of just, just, just 16 and 17 hours a day working six and seven days a week. Come home. People murdered, killed, lynched. People, women raped. But that's for later. I'm sorry, I'm going off the subject for a little bit. But these Spanish people, they, they, they're at the border. And you, can you imagine how traumatized the children are? I, I mean, do you understand what, how horrible it is for a child to see that that could be, it could cause some kind of uh, uh, mental damage to them later, you know, in, it, in their thinking ability. You know, they'll always see this, a little child in a strange land seeing their parents taken away. All I say is return these parents to their children. No, the return, yeah, to return these children to their parents. I'm sorry. You know, it's, how, how, how sad. 
and I just want to say, you know, we're better than this. I, I mean, I like to say to people, whoever picking up these ridiculous, nonsensical policies, how would you feel if you're standing there and your child was ripped from your arm? And you didn't even know where they were. And here is one article that says, why children are being sent to foster care or whatever while their parents are sent to jail for nothing? Well, crossing the border, I'm not saying, I'm not saying anything about, well, what I'm concerned is children. These are children. It's not their fault. Let's not be that hard. We're going to call down the punishment of God on this country. We're doing bad enough. You have a country that's totally divided because of hatred and racism. I'm not talking about the, how the land came from was taken from the Indians. I'm not talking about, we're talking about children, children. Look at here, dozens of parents are being split from their children each day. The children labeled unaccompanied minors and sent to government custody or foster care. The parents labeled criminals and sent to, sent to jail. Between October 1st, 2017 and May, 31st, 2018, at least 2,700 children have been split from their parents. 1,995 of them were separated over the last six weeks of that window. I, I mean, there's no need to say anything else. This is horrible. What are we doing, America? I mean, come on, we're a, a land. We're free. I mean, we're better than this. We're supposed to be free. Look what we have. A country totally divided by hatred, racism. We've regressed, and now we as African Americans were so bad. In our community, so many young ones are doing to themselves what your oppressors have been doing for 400 years. That's what's so black on black violence must stop. That's horrible. Everything that happened in our community is not white people's fault. We can't stop that. God did not create us animals, God created man in his own image. God took, it is written that he took one blood and made all men, all manner of men to dwell on the face of the entire earth. Greed, lust for power, madness, and violence is all you see all over the place in total separation by ridiculous policies. Be better than this. Be better than this, America. I'm not talking to everybody, I'm just talking about a few. Whoever, whoever's making up these policies, we are better than this. Let's heal this country. We're better than this. Did you see all those protests yesterday? And a few weeks ago when you're all the black, do you see all these protests? We are better than this. What do you think, folks? Do you think children belonged or supposed to be ripped from their parents' so now, I'm not getting into the immigration part and all that. I'm talking about children. I believe you want to come to this country, there's a right way. But children being taken from their parents and black children being, uh, the cops being called on them, uh, uh, being entrepreneurs, innocent. Innocent black men being murdered in the street. But I'm talking about children. That This is about children. Innocent children. Never mind their ethnicity or the language they speak or the, their, the color of their skin or their background. Children, it's wrong. And somebody's going to pay. God's going to call, make, hold somebody accountable for this. God bless. And let's wake up and put God first and stop this madness. In Jesus' name.